Hello everyone, my name is Tom, welcome back to another video. So I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I decided I'm going to do one. Now, just before we start off the video, I would like to apologise. I'm actually really ill right now, but I wanted to do this tutorial because I've been doing some graphics recently and a lot of people have really been liking my speed arts on my YouTube channel as well. So there should be a playlist somewhere called speed arts if you want to go watch some of those. Now, I do have a GFX store if you want to buy any graphics. But I'm going to be doing a tutorial today that's been literally requested so many times. If you go on some of my speed arts, you can see like comments saying like, will you do a render tutorial? Will you, will you do a text tutorial? On a stream I had like a str uh, straw poll, I think it is, strong I can't remember, a uh, straw poll I think it is, like uh, voting basically to see whether people wanted to me to do a render slash text tutorial. Now, I'm going to be doing the text on the render type of thing. Now... I'll pretty much like I've done loads of renders and I've done loads of text. And I'm not going to be extruding this. If you don't know what extruding is, don't worry about it. Now I'm going to quickly go through my settings that I use just really, really fast. And this will tuto this tutorial will be like really fast but in depth as well. This is going to be for more like the average graphic designers. Not maybe the best, best, but not like the worst either. So for you beginners, this isn't really going to be a great tutorial for you because I'm not going to be explaining everything. So first of all, uh, open up your FMR 5.0 rig if you use another rig, that's fine. I'm using uh, Lightroom as well. Now, if you click this uh, button here, now quickly go to output. Make sure that's 1920 by 1080. I always put my resolution to 500 and then you can quickly copy the rest of my settings. Save it wherever you want. Now, I'm going to quickly just move around his arms. I don't really know what pose I'm going to do. I haven't really decided. So I'm, I'm going to mess around and see sort of what looks good. I'm just going to probably do something that I've done you know, a lot of times before, just so I know what I'm doing. Uh, I might put a sword, I'm just messing around with the render. You can mess around with your render. I'm using these tools up here. This is to like twist the arm and I'm clicking this red thing here. Now, just in case, uh, this might be unticked for you, but click your FMR 5.0, go to 5.0 options and scroll down to hat slash second layer. Make sure that's on, otherwise, obviously the skin will look a bit weird. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Re uh, extruding just looks so much better, but obviously I don't really want to do that because it wastes a lot of time. So, I don't know. We'll just do like a really rubbish render. This is rubbish because it's going to take me like two minutes to do. I'm basically just focusing on the text. So, when you're doing text, especially if it's going to wrap around his body like most of my thumbnails do, you have to have the arms in sort of a position where the text can come round. So, this is going to be sort of blocked by the text. So, I'm going to quickly move this up. And maybe maybe move it like that i mean this is an awful render please you know don't just look at this and think oh wow this all of his works like this this is shit you know just completely ignore that. by the way if you got this far in the video please do drop a like that'd be much appreciated so now we're going to work on the text obviously you've placed your render done it however you wanted to obviously this is really bad but you're gonna click mo graft and hold go to mo text and then like if you hold it and let go on mo text like it'll like automatically come up here so it may be a bit big just look at where I'm clicking here so this is like zooming in and out I'm just gonna quickly grab the text so I use certain settings so I'm gonna do let's just do a UHC and uh, let's just do UHC games so I'm gonna quickly grab a font that I've been using quite a lot recently it's called Questrian there we go Questrian now depth I normally do 18 height uh, is normally 40 for UHC it looks really small but Trust me, when it gets on the body, it'll look a bit bigger. Uh, here we go. So, this is going to be really bad. I'm just trying to rush this so it's not long and boring. Uh, I'm using this tool up here to make it a bit bigger. I want it to sort of wrap around his body. But, like, show his body and not show his body, if you know what I mean. going to move the arm out of this way just so it's easier. Uh, there we go. So I'm just making sure that it's close to his body and it's sort of like actually there. There we go. Uh, T I don't like it when it's like in the guy's body. So I'm going to move it out a bit. So now you've done that, you're going to click on this. Oh, wait, my bad. So you have to hold this, keep on holding it and like let go on wrap. Then your wrap will be here, not wrap as in the thing you eat in case any demos are watching this. But you hold this now and drag it onto your Motex. So what if you've done it correctly, it should go over this. Now, if I remember correctly, the height is something like 280. I've I, These are my personal settings. Obviously, they don't apply always to what you're doing. 
depending on what you're doing with the render such you, basically you just have to mess around with it I believe this is 176 uh, let me see so that you can see what the wrap does it sort of bends the text a bit so I'm going to move this out because I'm going to do something here that will make it go uh, sort of back so I always click spherical just because it looks really cool in my opinion obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to sort of like brings the text up I don't know how to explain but it does that now I like messing around with this thing uh, just to like angle it and stuff obviously the text is one of the most important things in a render now with this text right now there's lots of things you could do so you could separate the text and have it moving across sort of different like places so it's not the text isn't like connected kind of well it's not connecting but like move it sort of to however you want it like my UHC shorts thumbnail which I'll put up on screen now kind of be awkward if I forgot to but uh, yeah so you can have it like that or you can click wrap and make it go back to uh, cylindrical I don't know how to say that word lol but yeah you can do that or you can leave it how this is I really don't care I mean it's whatever looks sort of good so you know for the tutorial purposes I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna move the body a bit uh, we could do it like that actually and then move this one forward maybe have like a different style have it sort of angled I don't know see with the text and render you just have to mess around with it a lot till you get it perfect uh, that's like really really bad there we go move that there okay I'm gonna do the text again so you just have to you can you can't really copy and paste the settings but you can do the same thing so I'm just gonna do games because it's really something short and simple uh, question 40 uh, move it up and out now obviously this is the harder part because this is a lot longer than the UHC so you have to mess around with this a bit more um, you can really do what you want with it now before we carry on um, you're gonna well I'm gonna delete this what you want to do is you want to click create new material click on it and click the color here make sure you go to white as well and then drag it on your UHC and UHC games just trust me it'll look a lot better in the long run unless obviously you're not having white in your thumbnail but I am so I need white and it, it was gray before so we're doing the same thing with the wrap I'm just gonna do similar settings I'll probably actually go copy the exact same ones 380 176 so 380 or well, not 3000 4000 bit pretty much and um, was it 180 I can't even remember about the same thing and we'll do spherical now, obviously because you see games is bigger you might want to just shrink it a bit more so it looks a bit better so obviously change the width etc so that looks okay I'm gonna bend it forward a bit just so it's sort of the same actually no I'm not gonna leave it like that It'll sort of be a bit different and then have it coming out this way as that one's tilted so like they're tilting the opposite way kind of thing I really do apologize for my block nose it's so hard to talk with a block nose I'm actually just gonna bring that down a bit do the same thing with the UHC might as well oops wrong one uh, there we go move that forward a bit and then games will move that down and have that like that I don't know why I just I like experimenting a lot of cinema 4d is just experimenting obviously I'm rushing this so it wouldn't look half as good as what my normal renders would if you even class them as good anymore but anyway can make this a bit smaller just so it stands out a bit less than the games um, now something that I have been doing recently is okay so you click uh, make the click the minuses and then click C and then go on the other text and click C so what that does is it separates all the letters so it looks a lot cooler and I have been doing this on a lot of my uh, designs now it's just moving them slightly so I'm having slight angles moving them out a bit just making it a lot more mm, sort of I wouldn't say natural but like unnatural I guess you could say so you just mess around with them obviously this probably won't look absolutely amazing but you know you can just mess around with them a bit the same thing with games uh, I did this on my UHC shorts thumbnail and I thought it turned out pretty nice obviously I spent more time doing that but um, I'm just gonna do like a rough sort of idea you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing looks a bit weird like that but looks better there we go I do apologize if you can hear anything in the background now what I'm going to quickly do is I'll pick a color so I'll just do uh, I don't know yellow we'll just do yellow for now obviously whatever color you want to do your text is up to you 
So what I normally do, actually that's, I want to make it a bit less sort of dark, grungy. Uh, let's make it a bit brighter, not more green. Th there's about fine actually. So yeah, um, just make it completely abstract actually. Maybe not completely abstract, you sort of have to have, well you don't have to have a rhythm but I think it looks a lot better with a rhythm. So we'll just do that for now, so I'm going to render this out and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it is finished. So guys, this is what it looks like rendered out. I'm going to quickly export it and then I'll show you guys as a PNG file so it'll be a bit clearer. There we go. Okay guys, so this is the PNG file. I'll just quickly let the top go off so you can see his head if it wants to. Lol, just zoomed in. Okay, well, it clearly doesn't want to, but anyway, um, let me go full screen. Maybe that might work. Moving my mouse. Okay, it doesn't matter then. It doesn't really matter too much, but this is what it looks like. Obviously, you can mess around with the the text a lot more but this is just a basic you know sort of idea well not necessarily not necessarily idea but like basic tutorial on something that you can look at and go come back to if you ever want to do this again so i really do apologize for my block nose if you want to see more of these tutorials comment down below what you'd sort of want to see maybe like the next tutorial maybe like an actual render tutorial maybe like a color correction tutorial in photoshop you know anything just comment down below i'll be more than happy to make it you know, I don't want to be posting like tutorials 24-7, but I will be doing a lot of them considering now I'm a GFX designer. I would like to help as many of you out as I can. My GFX store will be in the description, as uh, same as my carbon made portfolio, so go check that out. And yeah, I hope you all did enjoy. Can we please drop 12 likes on this video for another tutorial? Uh, please share it with your friends so they go like it. And I mean, if you've commented and you want to see something else, I mean... The more likes we get, the more likely I'm going to do another tutorial. So the likes have been dropping, I'm not going to really lie. You know, I've said this in a couple previous videos, and the likes have been going up. So let's keep this going. Let's aim for 12 likes in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.